this recording. Yeah, it's recording. Hi guys, it's MC. Welcome to today's positivity video. Sorry about the weird, awkward intro. Um, I've been watching a lot of Catfish on MTV. It's kind of an obsession right now. I don't know. Literally been binge watching tons of catfish episodes. It is so good. And I just, I'm online all the time. And so now it's made me wonder about all of my past online encounters. Like, whoa, was it a catfish? Actually, if you guys haven't seen this video, click here. I was catfished before. It never actually was confirmed that it was a catfish, but all, po all signs pointed to yes, you know? Neve would be very proud of me. He's one of the hosts of the show. I'm a very good um, investigator on the internet and all signs did point to yes he was a catfish so. Thought I would do an updated video on how to tell if they are catfishing you or not. How to be internet safe. That's kind of it. Yeah. Guys, everybody on the internet can be absolutely whoever the frick they want. I literally could be a boy on the internet. I could pretend to be Ariana Grande. It's 2015, so you might not believe me on that one. But the internet, you can literally create a Facebook profile, Instagram thing with any picture you want. And it's just like, you can make people believe that you're them. And it's crazy and it's dangerous. Tip number one. If you're talking to someone online and they don't want to FaceTime or Skype or send you a Snapchat video of themselves or something. Something's a little fishy, fishy. Number two, if they say, oh, I learned this from this from Catfish. If they're like, I'm a model or I'm an up and coming music producer or whatever, but they don't have any of their stuff online, like any of their pictures or any of their songs or whatever. Oh, fishy, fishy. Number three, if you've never heard their voice on the telephone, Especially on the telephone. If you've never heard their voice, oh, fishy, fishy. Maybe the opposite sex. Maybe just not who they say they are. Number four. In my personal situation, we Skyped. He initiated the Skype, but there was a lot of technical difficulties. It was freezing on his end. It, he kept going on and off, and like he had to go downstairs or something, and I couldn't see his face, and it was glitchy and stuff. Oh, fishy, fishy. I say one of the biggest red flags is if they just don't want to FaceTime or call or whatever and you know as a shy person I am pretty shy so a lot of times I have to say is this worth it do I really want to FaceTime or call them not because I'm a catfish just because I'm super shy and I just get really nervous and stuff if I think it's really worth it I will my first step will normally be snapchat video um, before any FaceTime or anything because I find that's really comfortable and it's easy and there's not so much pressure or anything. If you're going to meet someone, meet them in a public place like Starbucks or something where there's a lot more other people, not at their house. Probably not. I hope you guys liked that video. Stay strong, stay safe, and stay positive and I'll see you guys soon.